Hello, Cypher's community, and welcome back to another World of Tanks Gontavir. So, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks of how to get better in the T-34S. Now, the T-34S is a tank that you get in the Ultimate se in the Season Pass. I believe it's part of the free rewards at level 25. Nope, you have to have the Season Pass to get this tank at level 25. So... Let's talk, talk about how to get better in this tank. So first of all, I'll tell you exactly how I lo have it loaded out and why I have it loaded out like that. So this tank, so let me basically quickly go over what this tank is. Basically, this is a T-34, basically like a stock version of the T-34. It has the 76 millimeter gun, which has low penetration and 110 damage. But it is, it's the T-34S. S meeting shielded. So it does get more armor than the regular T-34s. Only on the sides and parts of the turret. That's about it. It's a stock T-34. It's not a preferential matchmaking T-34. It's a T-34 that fights tier, se tier 7s. Anyway, also if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing and also giving this video a like. And because it helps out the channel a ton. So let's get into this real quick. Now, the equipment I have on the tank is optics. Because it's, you have completely terrible of your range on this tank. 340 meters really sucks. So you kind of want to spot for yourself. So I have the optics on here. And your DPM is 1,500. So I put the advanced lower on. And currently my... Dr Joy-Con drift is, is messing up my controller. Anyway, I put the events loader on for better DPM. And I put the power train on so I can get up to my top speed better and turn the tracks better. And the plus 5% to horsepower is always really nice to have. Anyway, skills. Born leader obviously increases everything about your tank. Rapid loading, same thing for the advanced loader. Six cents is lets you know when you're spotted. Same things, uh, situational awareness, same thing as code optics. You want to have pretty good view range because 340 meters of view range that this tank gets just really does hold this tank back. You can't see anything and you're a medium tank. You don't have the best of armor, even though you're called it shielded. So you kind of do want to spot for yourself. Steady aim. Your accuracy does really absolutely suck on this tank. The accuracy is 0.43, which is pretty bad. Uh, muffle shot, so you don't get spotted as soon as you fire. I also have clutch braking, so you can turn the tracks faster to angle better when you need to, to like wiggle your armor back and forth. I also have last stand and adrenaline rush because I couldn't really think of what else you could put on this tank. But I do have a, a different other recommendations you could put on this tank. Dead Eye would be really nice to cripple tanks, uh, knockout modules and stuff like that. Also, this tank runs APCR as standard and premium, so Iron Mace would be fantastic for this tank because you lose. Because it stops losing penetration if you put Iron Mace on. Not as much penetration. Or you can also put Armor Angling and the Advanced Armor to make this tank more survivability. Ugh. Couldn't save that work. Okay, so how do you play this tank? Now, the best way to play this tank. Like I said earlier, the tank has more armor over the side and over its turret. Now, the armor for the tank, the hull, is... 45 at the front, 40 at the sides, plus the 16 millimeters of space armor, uh, shielded armor. I don't know if this is actually, yep, this is space armor. Okay, now the turret armor also is 45 plus the 16 millimeters of space armor. So on its own, the 16 millimeters of space armor is not really going to help you protect it. Not going to... You're not going to take shots in the side like an absolute shouldn't have. FV4211. It's just not going to happen. You have too little armor to do that. 
But to make the tank armor work efficiently, it's side scraping. Side scraping around buildings, side scraping around rocks, that is your best friend. Side scraping. This is the only, side scraping is the only time that your armor is actually gonna work. So if you find a building, you find a rock, you find any place you can side scrape around, you do it. And you angle, don't over angle because part of your armor does get exposed, but you angle, you side scrape, you do that. That's the best way to make the armor work. Now, while you're, but what happens when you're, you can't side scrape? What happens when you can't side scrape? Because you can't always side scrape. Well, that's where the view range and the DPM come into play. Now, the stock DPM of this tank is 1500. And if you have the tank loaded out with the rations, the advanced loader, and rapid loading, your DPM goes 1500 to 2011. So that's actually pretty good DPM. Now, you also remember if the view range on this tank was 340 meters absolutely terrible but if you have rations situational awareness and code optics your views view range goes from 340 to 435 so that means you can start spotting for yourself and you start using your dpm put a little bit of accuracy skills on here and maybe put the eagle eye on also that's your gun. That is your gun. That's your view range. So, a couple of things you can do. One is you do have quite good hit points at 500. It's pretty good for tier 5 medium tanks. So, you can trade shots if you really wanted to. If a tank does lower damage than you, always, when you're facing tanks out in the open, always try to angle. Because hopefully they'll just shoot your side and they'll just ricochet off. Because that would be fantastic. Um, what else? You can always go hold down. Not against high penetration tanks. Um, not against 7s or 6s, but definitely against 5s or 4s. You can do that with your 8 degrees of gun depression. Because you have that 45mm plus the 16mm. So... When you go hold down, use your 8 degrees of gun depression, just drive back and forth, back and forth, so they can't really get a good shot on your tank. This tank is a little bit, it's kind of hard to play. It, It's not, in my opinion, it's not the best of tanks. It's not, I don't like it. But there is definitely people out there that will like this tank, that will understand how to play this, that will become masters in this tank. Either way, if you don't like it, sell it. If you do, if you want to give the chance of tank a chance, use these steps, use these trips, use the way I loaded out this tank to help you improve that. If it did, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Also, remember to fish because one was not, and peace out. See ya.